Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do an announcement video and specifically talking about the Wainwright Prize. So the Wainwright Prize is a literary award that is awarded to UK nature and travel writing. Uh, both genres that I am really uh, really drawn to naturally, especially nature writing. As you will probably know if you've seen a few of my videos, I love nature writing. Nature nonfiction is probably my favorite aspect of nonfiction and was definitely one of the introductions for me uh, to really fall in love with this form of writing. And um, British nature and landscape is a particular soft spot for me probably because there are some dif uh, some similarities with the nature that I'm surrounded in in Sweden. Uh, so there's this uh, familiarity in some ways and also sort of a nostalgia feeling for me. Um, so this is a genre that I'm really into and this prize has been awarded to really interesting books in the past. Uh, a lot of the uh, long-listed uh, titles are books that I've either, either had uh, interest in or have read. Uh, two of them that I've read and really enjoyed is Foxes on Earth by Lucy Jones, which is a book all about foxes that I've talked about very a lot of times in videos before, and Ages for Hawk by Helen MacDonald, which is a book about Helen MacDonald training a goshawk. And uh, I really enjoyed both of those, uh, and there are a lot of authors on the long list this year that I am really interested in. Uh, for example, Robin McFarlane, uh, who is long listed for uh, Lost Words, I think is, is the title. Um, there is the uh, John Lewis Temple is uh, on the long list, an author that I've also heard a lot, uh, a lot about. And Pat Patrick Barkham, who uh, I think wrote Badgerlands that I have on my TBR. Uh, so there's a lot of authors on the long list that I was already interested in, and so I decided that this year I would like to follow along the shortlist. So the long list was announced on the 6th of June and the shortlist will be announced July July 5th uh, and I am planning to read through the shortlist as much as I can before the winner is announced on the 2nd of August. The long list was 13 titles so I'm not sure how many uh, titles will be on the shortlist, but in previous years there's been about six to seven books, so I'm hoping that I can read the majority of them before the winner is announced and review all of the books that I'm reading. So I hope you will enjoy following along the price with me. I'm really looking forward to reading all of these titles. I'm, as I said, I'm pretty much interested in the majority of the long listed books, so I would be happy with any of these coming coming on to the shortlist uh, and I'm really looking forward to reading through the shortlist and sharing my thoughts along the way with you uh, and if you're planning to read through the Wayne Wright shortlist I would love to hear about it. Uh, if you are already familiar with some of the authors on the shortlist, uh, feel free to recommend me books by them or any other books within the nature and travel writing from uh, UK. Please let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations. Uh, I hope you're having a really good day and I will talk to you soon.